Hey, my name is Dan, and by the end of this video, you'll learn how important Photoshop artboards are to the professional web designer. This particular video is a free extract from my course called How to Make Money Building Professional Website Mockups Using Photoshop. If you're serious about making money as a web designer, there's a discount code for you in the description. That's it, no more sales pitch. Let's become artboard lovers together. Wow, that's a little creepy, isn't it? Hi, in this video we're going to look at artboards. So artboards is a new feature that came out in Photoshop CC 2015. Now if you're using a later version, it's going to work fine. If you're using an earlier version though, there was no such thing as artboards in 2014. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to use just separate pages. But if you are using my version or later, essentially all they are is a way of having multiple pages on the one document rather than separating them into separate Photoshop documents. So to do it, let's go to file, let's go to new and let's pick artboard from the new document window and let's put in our widths that we discussed earlier in terms of the physical sizes of our, let's start with our desktop view. So our desktop's going to be 960 pixels by a height of, now the height doesn't really matter um, because websites change height depending on what the content is. So I'm gonna put in, let's say uh, 1500 and click okay. This is my first artboard, it's called Artboard 1, and you can see in my layers here, it's a slightly new one. If you're used to using Photoshop before, there's a slightly new kind of grouping system with artboards. So I'm gonna double click Artboard 1 to rename it, and I'm gonna call this one, this one's gonna be called Desktop, and it's gonna be 960 pixels wide. Great, and you can see the name changes along the top here. And um, so to add another view, so let's work on our tablet view next. We, there's a couple of different ways of doing it. The easiest way I've found is using layer, new, and using this one that says artboard. Okay, so this one's going to be called tablet, and it's going to be 720 pixels wide. Okay, and I'm gonna make sure it says 720 pixels down here, and use the same height. Click okay, and it slips it in next to it there. Right, so the last view we're gonna do is the mobile view. So we're going to go along to layer, new, we're gonna to go to artboard, and we're gonna pick mobile, and this one is going to be 360 pixels. Okay, that's just the name along the top there. I need to actually change the pixels down the bottom here, and we'll use the same height, and we'll click okay. Great, so we've got tablet view, desktop view, and mobile view all next to each other. Now where it becomes quite useful is when you start designing across all three, and you wanna make sure they're all consistent. So let's say that I'm gonna use my rectangle tool, I'm gonna to pick a swatch color in here, any old random color, and not that color. So one of the big perks for using artboards is the fact that I can um, draw something that's actually quite far over the edge here. Can you see it's quite over the edge here, and I let go. You see it crops it down to my desktop view. Okay, it's a nice little feature. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to, I want the same, let's say this is my nav bar. Um, so I'm going to double click this as my big navigation bar along the top. Okay, so I've double clicked the name down the bottom and renamed it. I now want to move it across. Now I'm going to switch back to the move tool. It defaults to this artboard tool quite a bit when you're working with artboards. Okay, so I move the move tool. And what I'd like to do is I'm going to duplicate nav bar. I'm going to right click it and click the one that says duplicate. I'm going to call it nav bar. Now, so I've got two of them now, I'm gonna use the move tool and I'm gonna click hold and drag it across the tablet. Now what can happen when you're dragging it, I'll undo that just to show you again, is I'm gonna drag navbar across and initially it doesn't actually move across. Sometimes you get to give it a bit of a wiggle, okay? Um, just to get it to appear in the tablet view. Then I can let go and it's in there. You can see now I've got this navbar in my desktop view and I've got it in my tablet view. So the last one, I'm gonna duplicate it again. Okay, duplicate layer, I'm gonna call it navbar. And in the mobile view, I'm gonna click, hold and drag it. Remember, give it a wiggle, and it'll appear in my mobile view. Now you can see the benefits for this. I'm gonna pop them in there. It allows you to, if you're working on separate documents, okay, and you have to switch between them, it's really hard to know, is it the same color? Is it lined up the same way? Is it looking consistent across all the different views? And um, Artboards is a really nice little new perk for Photoshop. And that is Artboards. Now, I love to share, so I made a few of these videos free. Of course though, I'd love for you to go on and do my full course of over 50 videos. There's a discount code in the description. Please like and subscribe and hide it our good YouTube people. Now I'm saluting and waving, but you can't see that, can you?